and welcome to Tiny Coat Christmas Extra. If you completed Tiny Coat Christmas last year and you still want the challenge, this is for you. If you're just starting out with Tiny Coat Christmas, you can come back to these challenges at the end. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a classic demo scene effect. Fire. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Mantratronic for his assistance, as this code is based on one of his tiny intros. We're going to begin by clearing the screen, and we're going to do this outside of the tick function. So we'll clear the screen once, and the fire effect is going to propagate from the bottom of the screen up to the top. And we're going to do this by, first off, seeding some random colors at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to do this as a full screen effect and just lay out the basics of it. And then it's up to you to make the smallest realistic fire that you can in terms of character account. And check the website in case we have some additional challenges as well. So I'm going to set the pixel X and 135 to math.random16. And if we run this now, we'll see that every frame there is a new bunch of random pixels written to the bottom of the screen. The way this fire effect works is that it takes an average of the pixels around it and uses that as the basis for the color on the line above it. And somehow that makes fire. So what we need to do next is to loop over every pixel. So we'll go from 0 to 135 and 0 to 239. And what we need to do here is we need to take a look at the current pixel value itself as well as eight of the neighbors. So that's the three above it, one either side of it, and three below it. So the color of the next pixel that we're working with, so we're going to visit every pixel on the screen and we're going to get the average of that pixel and those around it and we're going to use that as the basis for the pixel above it. Rather than type this out, I'm going to just paste it in here. And you can see, basically, we're using the pix function to get the color up to the, the top left, the top, top right, left, right, bottom left, bottom, and bottom right. And then, when we take all that, we need to get the average, so we divide it by 9, because there's 9 pixels. And again, we're going to do that for every pixel on the screen, and then we set the pixel above that, so y minus 1, to that color. And when we run the code, we get this fire effect. Now obviously we're limited to the colors that we have available to us with the Sweetie 16 palette, but that's a pretty good fire. If you're tackling this on Pico 8, obviously you'll have to change mat.random to random and pix to pset and pget, but other than that, the code is the same. You will, however, run into performance issues because this is a full screen per pixel effect on the Pico 8, so just reduce the size of your effect and you should be able to get it running at a reasonable frame rate. So let's see how small you can get this effect. Best of luck. <laughs> 